Alright guys, we I swung over by my buddy Brian's shop. He's got a little garage like us. Got a cool little Mustang I'll maybe show you later. Doing some uh, powder coating work on uh, Mr. Turbo Gary, his intake. So if you want to check that out, I'm sure he'll have a video on it. So that's what we're doing. Getting ready to play some uh, Easy Bake Oven here. Um, if you're not familiar with the powder coating process, this is actually my old setup that I sold to Brian. It's pretty sweet. Uh, it's not anything like paint. It's all dry. There's uh, no solvents or anything. You use a uh, a powder with uh, your pigment color. We can get literally any color on the planet. And then you use an air compressor and this little gun. And it you use... Uh, static electricity it charges the particles coming out of the gun and this is your negative and then so uh they attract each other and then the powder sticks to this metal and if you mess up it's nice because you can just take an air compressor and blow it off and start over but that's kind of the quick rundown of how it works and then you cook it in the oven while we're waiting for brian to get jake's intake all prepped and cleaned and everything uh, i thought i'd show you brian's fox body here it's a work in progress it's looking really good he just did a set of wheels and brake swap five lug swap and uh he's got a little small block 302 in here turbocharged that he's building uh should be pretty sweet just uh more of a cruiser street strip car so yeah uh, stay tuned maybe i'll have some videos of that when he gets it going again Yeah, this is a probably good size of, unit once it's probably one of the hardest ones too. It has a lot of angles on it. But that's how it goes on. You just it just kind of fogs on there and it, it just uh adheres. But like I said, it won't be permanent until you actually bake it on there. Well, Jake got his intake all done here. Looks pretty good. It's a wrinkle coat black. And then he's got this green lid. That goes on the top. This is Brian's little 302. Uh, mostly stock it's got some stuff done to it it uh because it's boosted it uh you can tell on that one right there it pushed the valve stem seals up and i've had that happen to me on my stock motor as well so it's just something to if you got a turbocharged vehicle make sure you got the right valve spring or not valve spring uh valve stem seals make sure they're really tight because you can push them back up and then it'll start smoking really bad. It's burning good to me. Yeah. Fairly decent for the oil. No chip pistons or anything, so not that we thought it had anything like that, but the fucking head gas it still looks good too yeah except for right there i mean just from pulling up off the head but probably it's only real good so he's just gonna pull these springs and retainers off and put a new set of seals on and put it back together and she'll be good as new 
Well, guys, that was uh, Brian's shop. Uh, we got done there. Jake got his intake all powder coated up. It looks really good. Um, yeah, maybe you'll see some more of me and the guys out hanging out at Brian's. Uh, he's looking to get his Fox there back together here in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that, and uh, thanks for watching.